Hi, we're going to talk about current and voltage drops, okay? <clears throat> Alright, so what I've told you before is that voltage does not drop, right? Um, this is just because it actually doesn't, but it's not, uh, the uh, convention is that it does, and I will tell you why. We say that voltage, or the current travels from positive to negative, and we know that the electron does not travel from positive to negative, it travels from negative to positive. So that's, this is the actual direction of the electrons flowing, right? But since we say that current flows this way, then we say that the voltage drops, right? But really what happens is um, at negative, at the negative terminal, voltage is zero. So if we're going, uh, this is because there's no resistance and voltage equals resistance times current. And if there's no resistance, and then it doesn't matter what the current is, there's no voltage. So if we travel and we meet the first resistor, this resistor, um, this will increase the voltage, right? Because we have a set current, and the current times this resistance will increase the voltage. But since we say current flows this way, then actually it'll drop. So really, voltage drops are, j are just voltage increases in reverse, since we say current flows opposite of what it actually does. So let me find, uh, tell you the steps of finding um, of, of finding the voltage drops, and then I'll demonstrate it to you. So, well, step one, uh, the, you have to find the current using Ohm's law. You have to use the um, the sum of the resistors and the um, the voltage of the battery or the current source, the DC current source. Uh, and I will start this example. Let's say that we have. Um, for sake of simplicity, 10 volts on the battery, resistor 1 is 2, resistor 3, or er, resistor 2 is 3 ohms, okay, each of these are ohms because that's the measurement of resistance. Um, first we have to find the current, uh, and we know with Ohm's law that I equals V over R, so it would equal 10 over, e the, uh, with resistors in series like this, you just add them together, so that would be 10 over 5. 10 divided by 5 is 2, because 3 times 5 is 10. So we have 2 amps flowing through this circuit. That's a lot of amps for just this little circuit. Anyways, um, so now we have our current. Step 1 is done. We can put a little little check right there. All right. Step 2. Uh, using the current found in step 1, we find voltage increase over resistor 1. So resistor 1, we have 2 ohms. And if the current, or the, the circuit is at 2 amps, Voltage equals current times resistance, so 2 times 2 is 4, so 4. If you're going from negative to positive, the, the voltage will increase by 4 um, when it meets resistor 1. Now at resistor 2, we have 3, three ohms, right? So uh, if it's 2 amps, which it is, um, and 3 ohms across this resistor, voltage equals current times resistance, so that's 6, right? 6 volts increase. So if you're flowing, if you're uh, looking at the energy, the electricity flowing from positive to negative, then it will drop by 6 volts when it crosses resistor 2, and it will, it will drop 4 more volts when it co crosses resistor 1. And then we'll have 0 volts, because what is 4 plus 6? 4 plus 6 is 10, right? Uh, we know that the sum of the voltage drops across all resistors equals the original voltage from the battery. And that's, that is... Uh, step 5. You know, I skipped step 4 because uh, that just says that the voltage increases are the decrease the decreases which is uh, the drops is what I said right here and step 3 was just find voltage uh, increase over resistor 2. Now all you know all you need to know about voltage drops.